Arm Brewster reports there are some marine biologists hoping to change that. Tucked behind the Waikiki Aquarium are tanks with thousands of mahi-mahi. Of course, some of them aren't very big, but they are all part of important research. 90% of the mahi-mahi consumed in Hawaii is imported. This project could change that. They grow real fast. Uh, they sell for a high price. There's not enough fish to go around, really, for the mahi. And um, they have a good uh, food conversion ratio. They, you feed them three pounds of some food, and you can put on one pound of mahi-mahi. Growth rates like that have aquaculture companies very interested in raising mahi commercially. Even more promising is the upcoming release program that involves tagging these fingerlings and releasing them near fish aggregating buoys in the ocean. The potential is tremendous, but while some ocean release programs have worked in other parts of the world, it's not a sure bet. Most release programs for fish are freshwater, and there's a, you know, a bounded water volume that you know the fish aren't going to run away from. Marine fish programs are looked on uh, skeptically uh, because they usually haven't worked. People release a baby fish like that and never see it. It's taken five years to get to this point. Now 10% of the fry live to be fingerlings. The fry live on algae and almost microscopic plankton. The larger ones prefer squid. Very fast moving fish. They can go 37 miles an hour you know, from a standing start in a few seconds. Funding comes from the state aquaculture development program, so the state recognizes the potential. A release date hasn't been set yet. When it happens, 1,000 tagged mahis will be released 10 miles out to sea. Eventually, they would like to see 10,000 fingerlings released in Hawaii's first real stock enhancement program. Tom Armbruster, KGMB News. Sounds like a great idea. Now it's time for sports. What's <laughs> When I was young, my parents took me to see the simple exhibits at the aquarium. Well, they've come a long way since then. So put away your fishing tackle and let's go visit the Waikiki Aquarium. Precisely at nine o'clock in the morning, the Waikiki Aquarium opened its doors to the public. When I entered, I was met by Bruce Carlson, the director of the aquarium. He was gonna give me the grand tour of the facility and some of the new exhibits, and even some of the behind the scenes projects that they're presently working on. Pacific animals. I understand you have some exciting aquaculture stuff too. Oh, we sure do. You've heard about that, huh? Yeah. Right. That's our big secret. <laughs> <laughs> what is in the back? Mahi Mahi. Oh, wow. You got I didn't some... know you could raise my mind a tank. You sure can. Wow. We have the expert right here working on our staff, Sid Crow. You want to meet him and see yeah. the fish? Well, let's All go right. take a look. So, this is where they raise the Mahi Mahi. These are the Mahi. We have some young ones in here, Mike. Oh, yeah. Let's see if we can get them to come up. It's about eight inches hey, long. Hey, guys. Yeah. Uh -huh. You gotta be whoa, whoa, careful. Whoa, even whoa, even whoa, if, whoa. yeah, they're spotted. <laughs> spotted, and they're they green and yellow, real pretty, even at this size. So These that's are, eight inches. What what does the, the eggs look like? Well, we've got some right here. Egg. Some we have hundreds of thousands. Actually, these these have already hatched. These hatched yesterday. There you go. Look like wigglers, don't they? Yeah. Little mosquito larvae. Well, that's a bunch. Well, they get, uh, Sid is pulling uh, several hundred thousand eggs out of the tank every day. Oh, and uh, survival's not real high on these, but even if he gets 1% survival, that's still a few thousand that are going to yeah. live. A lot of my mm -hmm. mind. Looks like he's ready to feed them over here. You want to see the adults? Yeah. Let's take a look. Feeding time at the Mai Mai Tan. Yeah. What yeah. is that? This is Aku. Nothing but the finest for our mahi mahi. <laughs> okay. He's a real special mahi mahi though. Ooh, these are. Uh, Catch them over there. These are brood stock that uh, Whoop, maybe the future go. suppliers of little mahi mahi for all of Hawaii uh -huh. someday. How old? These fish are 11 months old. They're uh, spawned here in Waikiki Aquarium. That's a male. Huh? That's a male, the big one. And wow. he has a. Uh, these are 11 creepy. months old. Yep. Not Good. even a year. They're all the same age. The male's bigger because uh, the females stop growing once they start spawning because they use all of their energy for egg production. I see. So they grow a little bit, but not as fast as the males. How important is it that the tank be round? It's real important. Mahi Mahi, because they're such fast swimmers, they would bonk into the corners if you had a square tank. So in fact, you can't, even just a plain round tank is not good enough. It has to be a tank that either has very soft sides or else um, has a center partition that keeps the mahi from uh, swimming across the tank and whacking straight into the wall. They're very fast. They'll get the, I've heard they swim 37 miles an hour. Wow, that's good. Yeah. I think they're one of the fastest fishes there is. 
stop by doing it. You to raise them like this. And I'll say, you raise all the small ones and everything too. Yeah, our main emphasis at the aquarium is to raise the babies from eggs to fingerlings, about two or three inches long. And uh, at that point, we transfer the fish to a Nui Nui Fisheries Research Center. Or in the future, the fish may go to commercial fish farms and things like that. At this point, it's just research. These fish are primarily here to produce eggs, supply us with eggs that we can use for experimentation to develop methods to um, grow fish. Yeah. So, there are eggs supplied. Yeah. Pretty fish, yeah. yeah. Take yeah. the rest, we're gonna eat it. Yeah, this is for the little guys. <laughs> right okay. over there. All right. <laughs> So I can tell everybody my baby, this shit.